All right, ladies and gentlemen, we go from the women's super bantamweight division all the way to the other end of the weight scale for a heavyweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner, a European pro heavyweight champion who arrives winner of six of his last eight bouts. As a professional, 11 wins, six losses, one draw, and five career knockouts. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at 249.8 pounds, 113.3 kilos. He's here tonight, fighting out of Warsaw, Poland. Here is Mikhail Bladzu Bladzowicz. Here now is his opponent, standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner. A 2021 Muay Thai World Super Heavyweight Champion. His record, 21 wins with just six losses. 15 of those wins have ended by knockout. He stands six feet, four inches tall, 1.95 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 248 pounds, 112.5 kilos. Here tonight, fighting out of Turkey, it is Jihad, the Ottoman Kepeni. Referee in charge of this bout, Tomislav Novosel. Fighters. <laughs> Gentlemen, you know the rules. Please follow my command. Touch your gloves if you want. Step back in your corner. Action in the heavyweight division. We have Blažević with the uh, black gloves and Judges. Jihad Kapenik. He has Dive. the white gloves Fight. and black trunks. Fighters slap gloves, and we are ready for this heavyweight matchup. Well, we went from the smallest division to the biggest now. <laughs> yes, we did. These big boys take a big part of that ring as Kapenik needs a shot coming in. 20 combined knockouts for these big guys, and Kapenik, his shot finds the target early. Yeah, he's thrown that big overhand right a couple times now. You know he's going for it, but I like how we change the levels now. Go upstairs, downstairs to set up the big power shot. And Kapenik on the ground. Yeah, it looked like a low blow. Yes. Referee stops the action. We'll see if we are correct. Yes, 100%. That happens a lot when someone's pressuring you and you go to throw a left kick. As you lean, get forced back, the kick takes that angle up, and that's a common low blow. And you heard okay. Kapenik groan, and he is in some pain right now. Holiday okay. season, but you never Stay want here. a shot to the jingle bells. Yeah. Like, hold on, be careful, okay? Last warning. Like There's it. the warning, I like Fight. it. The referee Fight. gives Lodzovic the warning. And Kapenik is just trying to set up that right hand. It's coming. 15 career knockouts for Kapenik, and Joseph said he loves to throw that right hand again, just missed. He's doing a better job at throwing his right hand to the body, and then the next time he throws it, he mixes to the head. He's changed Logic. the levels. So Joseph Lodgevitz, he's got to keep those hands up. Oh, yeah. Especially as he's kicking, that's when Kapenik wants to throw that punch. Right there, boom! Ball right ball. on ball. cue. Kapenik complaining about another low shot. Walks his way in and goes to the body. Right hook to the body, right hook to the head. Alternating both levels. Modrovic right now just trying to weather the storm. I like Kapenik mixing kicks between these big power shots. Shows him to be a little bit more diverse. Eight shots to the head, four to the body, going both upstairs and down. Ooh. Nice kick there from Blachowicz showing his power. Yeah, Blachowicz has very good kicks and movement. Ooh, as he throws in, he's at almost, yeah. Cut the eye there of Kapenik. Kapenik told us that this fight will not go past the second round. He wanted to show off his power. We got one minute to go in the opening round here at Glory, number 90, Ron Kruk. And Joseph out to lead him with him. You can see Kapanik doesn't put too much power on his low kicks. He just uses it almost as distractions and setups to ultimately get to the big power punches. You 
mentioned it, I really like how Kopenic, though Joseph, is going upstairs to the head and then follows it up with the body. Very accurate and very busy fight. Yeah, but I think Vlachovic is getting some momentum here, though. He's being able to push Kopenic back. Vlachovic is going for that back leg. I feel like Kopenic is hiding it a little bit. Mm. We call the back leg already, come on. Yeah, I hear the corner saying the back leg's hurt already. And winding down in this heavyweight matchup. A nice strong finish to this round for Vlahovic. Look at that. Great. Mixing his kicks, pressuring a little bit more. Ended that round nicely. Winner becomes the alternate fighter for the co-main Grand Prix Eliminator fight later. A co-main event of Glory 90. We check in on our fighter profile of Jihad Kaepernick and the Ottoman, the ISKA Muay Thai world champion. And he comes in with a 71% knockout ratio. Okay, listen, now you feel, now you feel that? You feel that now? Okay, now we're good. His opponent today, Michal Vlahovic, representing Poland. Signature strike, the jab, left leg kick, low to high, which we're seeing that back leg attack really playing out. That left kick also called, uh, caused a few low blows, but he's doing damage whenever it's being thrown, but I expect well him to change levels and keep pressuring, but definitely a, a nice end as the way he was able to pressure here. But Kapenik's right hand was basically the biggest damaging shot. Lachovic with that Fight. low blow. Referee did warn him if he does it again, we could see a point deducted. Second round, heavyweight action, and Panic dropping some bombs early as we check out the open scoring, Joseph. Yep, four of the five, giving it to Panic. That overhand, the pressure, the power. Rakovic needs to continue to push that pace, how we ended that first. You almost see Kapenik drawing him in, pulling him in. Because you know, Rakovic wants to go to the legs. Because he got a smile from Kapenik. <laughs> Really saying, go for those legs. He doesn't like them. Yelling for the low kicks, absolutely. And the head continues to throw that massive overhand. Ooh. Oh, beautiful combination. What a, Andrevich. what a combination. Back, put him in three. That's your three piece in the soda right there. Absolutely. And now a body shot to the ribs. What a combination. Man, can Panic take a hit, Joseph? Yeah. Blauchovic's best opportunity now is, I think, after Kopenic throws, is to counter with those punches. Kopenic overthrows some of his punches. There. He comes back with a head body head combination. This is where Rahavich needs to count him right there. He's got to throw his hands after those big missed punches. We call it a beautiful jab. And although Kopenic pushing Blajovic back, good defense by the fighter from Poland. Kopenic landing 45% of his shots, 37% for Mayhem. Kopenic now controlling the center of the ring. Lateral tracking, keeping Kachovic against the, the ropes. And wisely gets out of that corner. Yep, I think Kopenic said he's also working his knees. He just did a boxing to knee combination there. Maybe more of that. Mm. Yep. Just needs to counter off. Eating some shots now. It's Kopenik's respect back. Under 30 to go. The fighter from Poland may be gassing out a little bit. Definitely slow down. 55 to 19 in favor of Kopenik in the punching department. Yeah, Kopenik is just smiling, coming forward. He's enjoying this. He is. He's having a great time. He looks to even up his record here in glory and finishing the round strong is Jihad Kopenik. 
Watch Glory events 24-7 on Glory's new Fast channels. Visit glorykickboxing.com for more information. This round here, you saw Kopenic very, started off a little bit more technical using his jab, really still trying to get his shots, but that was that beautiful combination back from Vahovic. This is what he needs to do more of. He needs to be more active you, as a counters. He's got to block the big shots from Kopenic and then counter back. He can't just stay shelled up. And you've seen at the end of that round, he keeps looking up at the clock. So the yes. gas tank, definitely a factor. A lot on the line here in this third and final round between these two heavyweights, Jihad Kopenic, Mihal Blachowicz. And the fans here in Rotterdam chanting for Jihad Kopenic. There's a lot of urgency in Blachowicz's corner. Ishmael Long was saying, when he's punching, you gotta kick. You gotta come back with something. There are uh, judges' total stop. scores. Off the stop. Four out of five oh, giving oh, those okay. two rounds to Kopenic. Oh, one judge is really like it. I'm oh, trying bitch. to figure out, you know, what he's seeing here. That, oh, no, no. Uh, especially in that first round. Yeah, I'm not sure how he got both of those. The key here with these heavyweights is both these men with 20 combined knockouts can end the fight in an instant. So still, anyone's fight. Yeah, they still have me kind of flinching every time they both open up at the same time. Can't you know a bit of a breeze too yeah. when these guys come in and, and don't connect? This is where Dachovic can't win the fight. It's just shelled up and tired. Wrapping up our second of two Glory 90 preliminary bouts. You see the countdown. Glory 90 begins on Fight Club TV. Coming up on 11 minutes from now. Stacked card, that's for sure, to end the year, Joseph. Still continuing to pressure here. Look at him. Pennick has thrown 218 total strikes compared to Vladjevic's only 131. Pennick being the aggressor. Throwing in bunches. There's the counter punching, but still he's waiting too long for them. He's got to come back with them. I know fatigue's a factor, but right there you gotta you gotta have an answer back. Otherwise, Kopenic is just gonna keep pressuring right. for these last 50 seconds. He's got to have some answer, some counter. We felt that Blachowicz may have hurt the legs of Kopenic, but the gas tank didn't allow him to keep attacking it. So Kopenic now is just simply able to just walk forward and let his hands go. 30 to go. Oh, beautiful shot from Kopenic. That was an uppercut hook combination. And they acknowledge it. Here they go. The big man finishing strong. They know there's a lot on the line. And they continue to fire away. Stop. Stop. Well, we are expecting a finish in this one, but these two big men put on quite a performance. Especially the Ottoman from Istanbul, Turkey. And there is Mihal Belajevic. Just wasn't able to turn up the offense to counter the aggression from that man, Jihad. Kopenic. Yeah, Kopenic was able to just pressure him, keep Lahovic against the ropes. And I mean, there's moments Mihal tried to counter, but I mean, Kopenic was just too durable, kept coming forward, ate that low blow, but 
Vlahovic had these moments where he was able to counter very well, but the issue was there just wasn't enough of them. He allowed Kopenic to keep coming forward, keep landing his combinations from one to three, and round three may have been one of the best rounds for Kopenic. Absolutely. He came forward, he had some amazing hook combinations where he was able to rock Vlahovic, but overall a, a fantastic pressure fight for Kopenic. Well said, looking for his 22nd career win as we check out the glory a strike count and jumping off the page is the strikes landed from um, Kopenic. And you check it out per round was extremely accurate, especially in that second round landing 52% of his strikes. Jihad Kopenic, very aggressive, came out and took this fight. What a matchup between these two big heavyweights. Ladies and gentlemen, after three heavyweight rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's look at the totals. One judge scores about 30-27, Kopenic. Another judge has it, 29-28, Blazovic. And our three remaining judges all see it 30 27 for your winner by split decision. Jihad Kepene! I'm here with your winner, Jihad Kepene. You got to be happy after a year here to get this win here today. Yeah, what do you think? I'm coming again. Jok Shukur, today, tonight win. I am very happy. Did this fight go as you expected? He didn't seem to have the gas tank, but you were really trying to knock him out with your right hand. Uh, I don't understand, sorry again. The way you came forward and pressure, did the fight go as planned? He say, I don't touch. Hard, if you eye touch, he go. He KO, he say, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you look great tonight, and we look forward to seeing you back in the new year. Let's hear it for your winner, Jihad Kopenic.